going on guys so today in this video i'm going to be explaining to you where i've been why i haven't been making videos in the past month and just kind of updating you a little bit with some plans i have and just updating you with where i've been so um i'm gonna eat real quick i made some bagels with peanut butter and some coffee it is currently 12 13 so it's a little bit late for breakfast but i kind of woke up a little bit late so i'm just going to scarf that down real quick and then i'll get right back to you all right so just finished my breakfast um so let me go take you out to the speed and uh kind of just give you a little update on the speed okay so just a kind of quick little update on the speed because uh, you haven't seen it in a while everything is pretty much the same since you last have seen it yeah so my bumper is still not completely fixed since the deer hit it like i said there was just a bunch of issues that i've explained in previous videos but uh, i guess just a little update on it the bumper clips are still trash this thing pops up all the time uh, just because it leads me to believe they didn't replace the bumper clips like they said they did it's chipping in the paint um underneath here like when it pops out you can see it also on this side these clips they pop out all the time as well you can see there's the paint chipping there's even some cracking right there um what else what else so down here, they even missed spots to paint there and like right there. And then I don't even think I told you guys about this, but I think at work or something like that, I got hit either by like a cart or another car. Um, I'm not sure, but you can see all those scrapes in there. And then I don't know if this is from that or what, but I went to go wash my car and the paint was chipping after I was washing it. So that was super weird. Like I said, this might be because of this. Not 100% sure. Really the kind of plans for the grill and everything. So like I said, I wasn't happy with the other shop that did the work. When our insurance guy came out and looked over the car, he was just a complete dick. Just contacted the insurance company, told them all the issues, and they said, you know, that they were really sorry and that they'll just cut us a check for fixing like my issues so i found a shop that's a little bit farther away from me but they got really good reviews so um, i'm gonna have them replace the bumper clips because it's super cheap and easy to do i'm gonna have them repaint the whole front bumper because there's also paint chips here as well as inside the fender liner if you can see that get even closer I have no idea what those are from, uh, but I'm gonna probably have them, you know, they can sand that down and then just repaint it. And they cut us a check for $400, so I don't even know if that's gonna cover everything or if it's too much or whatever, but if I can and it's in the budget, I'm gonna have them repaint the grill as well. But if not, then I'll just leave it like this. And I plan on getting, if they can't like fix this, I'm just gonna end up buying my aftermarket grill for it pretty much it for the front end kind of update uh for you guys i'll take you around the car everything else is pretty much the same i haven't really done any other mods i still have my winter setup which that's going to be going away very soon because it is starting to get warmer out so i'm going to put on my summer setup i still have the access port it's doing real good around back and everything everything else is still the same on it but I do plan on doing a full detail on the car as soon as it gets warm enough. Um, so I'm going to wax it, try to buff it, get all, uh, you know, like the little minor scratches and stuff out of the paint. Because the winter kind of does beat up your car a little bit. If you guys have a white car, you might be familiar with this stuff. So a lot of people think it's rust. It's not actually rust, but you can't really get it off with your finger. And you can try to scrub it and it won't come off. What I've seen is that you have to use a clay bar so i plan on clay barring the whole car uh to get all this stuff off um so yeah just stay tuned i'll probably make a detailing video on the car i'm going to be taking care of this bumper issue as soon as it just gets a little bit warmer out this will all be fixed um no worries there and like i said i might even 
get a new grill so I'll have an install video of that and I've always wanted that grill so um, I for I'm forgetting what it's called I'll put it put the name up right now uh, and yeah I have a bunch of plans for it um, so we'll go back inside because it's kind of cold out and I'll kind of do some more further explanation of what's going on with the car and where I've been okay so I'm gonna get a little bit more serious now and talk to you about why there haven't been uploads. The first thing is school. So school's been taking up a lot of my time as well as it's not taking enough of my time. Um, I've been kind of struggling in school lately and it's kind of crunch time. I really need to get my grades up and you know finish strong for the semester. And that's just been kind of difficult to do partially because of the thing I'm about to tell you which is I lost a good friend of mine. He was a family friend. He was uh, my brother's best friend and my mom's godson and everything so that was really hard. Uh, you might be able to see his picture over in the corner there um, and his hat. Yeah that was really difficult. That happened right before spring break so over spring break i just had a lot on my mind like i would love to have recorded videos and i was planning on recording videos but i just i didn't have have it in me you know to film and i just had so much on my mind I, that wasn't even one of the things i was really thinking about at that point i was just trying to take care of you know my family and my brother his family as well and i was just trying to look out for everybody and you know i had the the visitation and then the funeral so you know everybody copes with death in different ways and um for whatever reason this one kind of just hit me a lot harder than people I, that i've lost in the past this one was just kind of a different a different monster if that makes sense it was just really unexpected and very tragic. I just wasn't ready for it. I mean, no one's ever ready for somebody to pass away, but this one, like I said, it was just really out of left field. So that's the reason why I haven't been making videos. I hope you guys can understand and, you know, uh, maybe empathize with me a little bit. That's why I haven't been making videos for like the past month. I've just been kind of strapped for time with school and then losing somebody. You know, I just really have been struggling with it and i'm still struggling with it so if you're struggling with anything you know like a mental illness or addiction or you know you're struggling with losing somebody uh please talk to somebody you know there's always people out there that will be willing to lend a helping hand and be there for you even though sometimes it feels like there's no one there uh, for you, there's always somebody, uh, so just don't ever give up and just try to be the best version of yourself that you can be and be somebody who lends a hand to somebody else, you know. Uh, always look out for people and love the ones that you have as much as you can and always tell them that you love them because you just never know when you won't be able to say I love you again or, you know, have a conversation with that person so that's just kind of where I've been at and you know what's been occupying my time but I guess on a happier note I want to talk about the car a little bit I already explained to you that the bumper is gonna get fixed um, I may have an install of the aftermarket grill as well as uh, I have my rear diffuser put on I have my window visors and I have those LED replacement for the reflectors and the diffuser. So I I still have to film those videos and get those parts installed. I don't know when all that's going to happen, but definitely as the weather, you know, gets warmer and stuff, I'll be, you know, putting those parts on the car. Um, as well as I'm really close to having enough money saved up to buy my internals. Um, I just had to find somebody to help me out with the install, so if anybody's in Illinois and you know more specifically like the Rockford area hit me up if you are down and you have the tools and knowledge to help me out to uh, put that in once I get it because I really want to have all that stuff set up before I buy the part so it's not just sitting sure I have somebody to help me install it and so it's not just sitting like I said and whatever and then I just spent money that I'm not even using so there's gonna be that I should be getting a pretty decent tax return so um some parts I might buy with that as well, but not 100% sure. So I guess just stay tuned. I know after uh, I get my internals in, I'm gonna get either a short ram or a cold air intake, and then I'll obviously make a video on that. Yeah, I just have big plans for the car. I'm gonna be going to meets, and hopefully I'm gonna get uh, DJI Osmos Mobile 2. Uh, it's like a gimbal. So I can get some smooth shots of cars and whatnot when I go to meets. I think that would be really cool to kind of try to go more cinematic style, I guess, like all these other YouTubers do. 
I think that would be kind of fun and challenging to, to try to take on just filming with my iPhone 10. but we'll see. It's another thing, I got a new phone. The quality may have changed a little bit because the camera on the iPhone 10 is better than my 8, so if you guys enjoyed that step up in quality, I can film 4K if I would like to. That should be pretty cool. I think I'm gonna go to a meet this Saturday. Today's Wednesday. It's just a little local meetup uh, with some of my friends and stuff and people around the area that we're gonna try to kind of start a car club maybe and uh, just have some people to roll out to to uh, other meets and stuff like that so i'll probably film some of their cars uh, on saturday and that might be a separate video it's not sure yet it just depends on kind of what we do and what goes on but maybe i can introduce you to some of the guys and stuff like that so that's pretty much it for the whole you know update part of the video like i said hopefully you guys can understand why i didn't make any videos recently yeah i'll be back at it and hopefully you guys enjoy this video so i think i'm gonna go to walmart i gotta go pick up some groceries yeah i will talk to you uh once i get back from that So just got back from Walmart, got some non-healthy stuff, as you can see. All junk food. But uh, <laughs> anyway, so I still got to go to the gym today, as well as edit and do homework and stuff. So time is just going too fast today, and I feel like there's not enough time to get everything done, but I'm going to try my best. Okay guys, so that's pretty much the video. I know this is kind of an abrupt ending, but pretty much I've just been doing homework and eating and things like that. And I'm about to go hit the gym, so that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy. Sorry, you know, it's more of a boring video and I'm not getting really deep with my car. Like I said, as soon as the weather starts getting better, you're gonna see more install videos from me and more car related videos and things like that. Like I said, stay tuned uh, this weekend. I'll probably be filming since I'm going to a small local meet. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button as it really does help me out. As well as if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button if you did enjoy and you want to see more from the channel. But that's it, guys. Take it easy. Stay safe. Peace out.